Hello, my lovely lads. This is CJ's long-time expected UFC debut. It takes place against Shane Carvin, the worst possible matchup for the Grove Street gangsta, 39 years of age. Carvin, 27 CJ, 6 for 3 for both fighters. Carvin's reach. He is going to be the problem as long as his wrestling skills and let's get it underway. Let's see. Fighters are gonna touch gloves, I think. Yeah, CJ touches glove, middle kick for CJ. Big right bomb for Shane Carvin. Shane Carvin is blocking all the kicks to the head. CJ is trying to counter with the knee. One, two for Carvin. CJ is trying to keep the fight long range. Carvin drags him to the ground. What a great reactive takedown. Now CJ fishing for a guillotine choke. He doesn't look deep. Uh, I think Carvin is gonna slam him off the canvas right now. Uh oh, this looks bad for CJ. Ouch, it had to hurt, man. It really had to hurt. And now CJ is uh, on the ground. He is trying to reactive uh, sweep and he is able to get his back on the feet to work his way up. Now missed with the spin heel kick on the side kick, but Shane Carvin is absorbing all those strikes. Grove Street style hook for CJ. One, two, CJ spamming hooks, uppercut. But Shane Carvin is absorbing everything. CJ misses with a spin heel kick. Oh, he's trying to use the spirit of San Fierro. Then he attempt. He transitions to Las Venturas back then with a the street style fighting. And an uppercut lands for Shane Carvin. CJ with the spin heel kick. Uh oh, Carvin caught him. Carvin has the back. Back control for Shane Carvin. CJ is trying to work in the multi clinch, but it seems Shane Carvin is just too good. CJ is working on the Kimura. But you need a lot of power for that Kimura, and CJ is not gonna be able to work it out. Carvin is covering him up in the side control. He will probably try to transition to mount. CJ defending pretty much well for now. Uh oh, CJ is mounted. Carvin has the full mount. He is trying to work uh, better, but he could go to three quarter mount for better control as well as you see CJ with a fantastic reversal. Now CJ is spamming punches, but he only knows Grove Street style, you know. He only learned a bit of boxing in Los Santos. He doesn't have much of a ground game. Now CJ with the Maltai plan. Great Maltai clinch for CJ. And another Maltai knee. More Maltai knees to the body. And CJ is really trying to demolish his opponent. But Carvin seemed to be very, very powerful against the fence. And Carvin is trying to work his way down. And he drags CJ to the ground. CJ is trying to go for a ghillie. And again, great guillotine choke attempt by CJ. But I think he's gonna slam it. He's gonna get slammed again, man. CJ doesn't have much to look forward in this fight. And let's see. No, Shane Carvin works his way up. And CJ is able to stay away. Sidekick attempt. CJ misses with a hook. CJ again with a sidekick. Trying to keep that fight long range. Excellent counter. Spin heel kick for CJ. And another spin heel kick. It seems CJ knows Kung Fu and this is really working off. Great right overhand by Shane Carvin. Well, pretty much decent round for CJ, got to say. I'm not uh, quite impressed with CJ's performance, but considering that this is his UFC debut, he is doing pretty much solid job right now, as well as you see. Carvin is looking pretty much fine. Stay patient, opportunity will come. Ah, man, it's hard to stay patient when somebody constantly pressures you. Let's see if fighters are uh, going to touch gloves. No, no glove touch this time. CJ is trying to counter with the knee, counters with the sidekick. Ah, one, two. CJ was lucky that Carvin missed the punch to the head. Carvin is covering up well. Spinning heel kick, just missed, and the side kick. Oh, big wave in overhand right. And the uh, diving punch, CJ was dropped heavily. CJ fires back with Grove Street Gang, uppercut. Another right overhand, CJ is in a deep trouble now though. Carvin caught a kick and now works his way to the ground. But CJ is covering up well, CJ is catching him again now, trying to get back on his feet. Again, Carvin is trying to bomb to the body and CJ works his way up. 1-2 for CJ, uppercut lands, followed by a hook. And a great sidekick. And another sidekick. 1-2 for CJ. More sidekicks. CJ with the spin heel kick. Sidekick to create the distance. Oh man, Carvin is defending very well. Sidekick is good. 1-2. CJ is trying to fight very well at long range. And another sidekick. Another spinning heel kick. CJ is playing volleyball with Shane Carvin's head. Spinning heel kick and Shane Carvin goes down. Down he goes, CJ's hips are forward, tilted forward, he's bumping off the stag guard, that's the end of the fight. Maybe it was a bit of an early stoppage, but great victory for Grove Street Gangsta. What a great victory this was for CJ. It was one-sided demolition magician in round two. Got to say that CJ really did an excellent job, he was throwing bombs of the stag guard, and the referee has seen enough. Great TKO victory for Carl CJ Johnson. Look at how he pounded out his way through Shane Carvin, his hips were tilted forward, Shane Carvin had no chance to go with the up kicks or to try to defend. 
great, great defense and perfect performance by CJ. This is something we don't see too much often, lads. We really don't see this too much often. What a great performance by CJ. He really worked his way through Shane Carvin, really has whooped the guy. And congrats, CJ. This was a great victory by Grove Street Gangsta.